It's a big holiday weekend coming up, a time for us to all really rejoice and celebrate the good things about this nation, which I believe still there are many. But I also understand and I empathize with the way so many of us feel right now. A brand new poll just out shows that Americans, well, they're just not so proud of their country right now. Um, pride levels are, are, are at a, an all-time low, and I get it. I understand why. We're going to dig into those numbers, plus I have a very special treat. I love I love our patriotic songs, so I'm going to share one with you today. Me singing, actually. Some of you know I was a singer in another life, and uh, I want to show you a little bit of that. So good to have you here. Welcome to the Trish Regan Show, everyone. Portions of today's program are brought to you by Legacy Precious Metals. There's never been a better time to invest in precious metals than right now. So go to LegacyPMInvestments.com for more. LegacyPMInvestments.com for more. I just want to say quickly, you know there's so much inflation in this economy. You know how much people are struggling with higher food and higher energy costs. And as a result, they're trying to say, wait a second, is my money going to be worth in the future what I think it is today? And I think the reality of all that, given not just inflation that we're seeing right now, but also the trajectory of the country with the debt loads we're struggling with, the reality to all that is probably no. I mean, certainly it hasn't been. If you look back over the last, what, nearly 50 years, you can go all the way back to 1972. And what was a dollar worth then? A whole lot more than it is now. In other words, your purchasing power, and that's one way to measure these dollars, your purchasing power went so much further. I mean, if you, if you wanted to buy $100 worth of goods back in 1972 and you got $100 worth of goods, you'd have to have nearly $700 today in order to replicate the exact same amount of stuff, which is why people do look at things like gold to help protect themselves in the future. I encourage you to do that. Call my friends over at Legacy Precious Metals, 1-866-589-0560, one 589 560 And let's get here to this poll. This one out of Fox, actually. They asked people whether or not they're proud of their country today, and they've been doing this poll for some years. In fact, you can go all the way back to 2011. And um, what you see is actually a, a massive decline in this pride. The number of people saying no, I'm not proud stands today at 56%. 56% of Americans are not proud of their country today. Compare that with what we saw in 2017, 45% of Americans were not proud. 2016, 46%. 2011, 28%. So this is a kind of a, a bad trajectory. And you know, I, whether you want to blame this on leadership, I'll leave that to you, but I will say at least this, for whatever reason, and in another podcast at another time, because I have a lot of views on this, you know, but I, I, I want to get to the, the patriotic singing stuff. I, in another podcast, we can discuss the reasons why. You can also let me know in your notes below. I hope you've subscribed to the channel on Apple iTunes, on Spotify, on Google Podcasts, and on Rumble, the video, and YouTube on video. So let me know your thoughts below as to why this is. But I, I, I would just come away with saying, yes, we are more divided. And this division has created such an animosity between two sides that frankly to me is un-American and is not in the spirit of this country. And it's something that we need to repair and we need to change because I'm a big believer in, in listening to other viewpoints and it, being empathetic to all kinds of people. And right now we don't have that. We don't have that. And, and I, I think I know why, but um, a lot of it has to do with just pure politics. But it's a sad thing. It's a sad thing when as we go into 4th of July weekend, 56% of the country says they are no longer proud of America. That is a problem. Anyway, I'm, I'm still, you know, I, I'm proud of what we have been, let me say that, and what we can be. I'm disappointed in where we are right now, and there's certainly a whole lot of room for improvement. Let me share with you an excerpt from uh, one of my favorite songs, 
maybe a couple of my favorite songs. And just know that I'm thinking of you on this 4th of July weekend, and I hope you have a wonderful time with your family. I'm looking forward to it in the spirit of Live Free or Die New Hampshire. I'll be heading up there with my family and looking forward to some fireworks and some good times and singing a few patriotic songs. Anyway, I wish you all the best and I will see you next week. Here you go. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of gray. Like